Hey guys, it's Alexis. Welcome to or back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name's Alexis. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to curl your hair to get the ultimate beach waves. This is the method I literally live by and I use anytime I go out or do anything. So first step when it comes to getting the perfect curl or beach wave is you have to start off with a good base. So just blow dry your hair until it's about sh pretty straight with good volume. It doesn't have to be exactly straight. Next, before you even turn on your curling iron, you don't even plug it into the wall. You have to get yourself comfortable with using the iron. So what I want you guys to do is I want you to take your iron that you choose, point it down, put it closer to your head, just feel comfortable with that motion. Next, I want you to take like a one inch section of your hair and hold it out like this. Now, practice the motion that you did before, point your curling iron down, right? The goal when curling your hair is to always have the curls face away from your face because it gives that illusion of more volume and we always want more volume when we're curling our hair. So take that one inch section, point it down. So what we're gonna do in order to curl away from our face, you're gonna take the hair and have it touch the iron. Remember the iron is still off. And then you're just gonna curl away from your face, wrapping around the iron, leaving a small section not touching the iron. You're gonna hold that there for 10 seconds and then you're just gonna let it go. And if the iron's on, it will happen in a perfect wave. And the reason your hair is gonna be waved and it's not gonna be curled is since we're leaving that little one inch section at the bottom of our hair, it's gonna make our ends all straight and uniform and blunt. And that's how when you see on like Bella and Gigi and Kendall, when they have those perfect waves, that is how you do it. My favorite curling iron of all time is the GHD one inch curling iron. I found out about this curling iron from a hairstylist, Lauren Thompson from Nunzio Saviano Salon. She's amazing. She recommended this to me. It's what she uses on my hair. So I've just been using it ever since. If you want a cheaper option than this, the Conair Infinity Pro is a great option. It's like 30 bucks from Amazon or Dwayne Reed, wherever your drugstore is. That one also does a really nice job. I just like using these ones since they're ceramic so they won't damage your hair as much and I'd rather keep my hair nice and healthy. Another good option for a curling iron is the T3 Micro. That one's really cool because you pay for like the base and a top, but the tops are interchangeable. So if you want to get like a two inch barrel instead of a one inch, you could just swap out the tops and you don't have to get a full new iron. But I pretty much only use the one inch, so that's perfect for me. So now we're gonna start curling our hair, but just practice for a few minutes just doing that with different sections of your hair and you'll get really comfortable using it. So what we need next is this little clampy clip. And what I like to do is split my hair into two sections. So I just do like a Coachella inspired, like Ariana Grande grabbing ponytail. And I twist it around. So I have a little like top knot. And then I'll take this little clampy thing, put it on the top. Okay. I look super fab. Then we split our hair into two sections. Take your brush, mine's this super fancy Conair one from Dwayne Reed, it's purple. Just brush your hair out so you don't have any knots. I don't know why, but I always start on the left side of my hair. And what I do when I begin, I start from back to front. And what is my tip is you're gonna have a mirror in front of you, obviously. If you turn your head to the side, you're able to see that entire line. So when you put it up and you're curling away, you can still see what's going on, which makes it really easy. So I'm gonna turn on this iron. I'll let it heat up for like two minutes. The way you know it's on is if on the GHD, if the little like glowy thing is glowing. So I'm gonna let that sit for one minute and then we're gonna pop back in and work on the back of our hair. Now that the curling iron's on, and don't be afraid of getting burned or anything. If you're careful, I promise you'll be totally fine. So we have that section and we're gonna look away and put our curling iron down. And then we're just gonna wrap it around and leave that little bit at the end and hold for like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And you got a perfect little wave. And then we're just gonna go around and keep doing it on the rest of our head. And you just have to do those like little one inch sections. And it becomes so easy as you continue to do this. Trust me guys. See, look at that, nice and bouncy. The reason I'm doing my hair today actually is I have a photo shoot later today, which is super fun. And I'm gonna be posting a vlog about 
kind of like a week in my life so i'll link that in the description if you guys want to check that out just to see what my hair looks like in the final product after a few hours of the day i forgot to mention before so when you switch sides you're using your right hand to hold the barrel down but then when i switch to the left side i use my left hand to hold the barrel barrel and i pretty much do the exact same thing uh, so I'm going to do this side off camera quickly just because it's the same exact thing that we did on this side and then we're going to resume at the top of our head. It's the final product of the bottom. Nice, perfect beach waves. What we're going to do next is we have the top section. So we're going to take both sides and we're going to move it to the right side since I always do my left side first. Split it back again into two sections. So make your part. I always part my hair down the middle. What we're gonna do is we're gonna brush out this section of our hair. And as you can see, there's not that much hair here because we have the entire bottom section on the other side, so it's only the top section. So, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the literally the exact same thing at the bottom that we did on the top. And we're gonna just curl this part. Ugh, look at that, so gorgeous. Now we've officially made it to the front section of our hair and this is like the second piece so I always split it into two parts to make it a little smaller. So we're just going to curl away from our hair, hold it for the 10 seconds. And what I like to do when I get to the front because that's the part of my head that I like to be the curliest, I always, I start a little bit lower, like more towards my eye on a diagonal than at the top of my hair because I don't like the look of a cowlick and I already have a pretty natural cowlick. So I don't want that as much. So just take that to your eye over there and then point it down. So at that spot and then hold it for maybe like 12 seconds instead of 10 and then let go and you get like the perfect little curl like that. So now this is what one side of my head looks like and i'm going to move this side to this side you think you guys are pretty much catching along on the pattern here who else gets naughty hair and can relate because that literally is a struggle of my life okay we're gonna do the exact same thing that we did at the bottom so i'm just gonna do it quickly and then you guys are gonna see the final result oh yeah baby so guys this is the final product of my hair um i hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial i'm gonna go grab hairspray be right back spray it up so we last because we don't want our hair falling after we just worked so hard on hairspray that. i use is the professional sebastian sharper spray in the small travel size one because i just like it because it's easier to carry around and we're just going to spray over the whole thing don't be afraid of hairspray I was gonna spray it at you guys and then I realized, you know, that probably would get my camera all nice and fuzzy and then we'd have a problem. <laughs> just ate it. And then we'd have a problem and it would get all blurry. But this is pretty much how I curl my hair. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and it's by Alexis to see more pictures and videos of how I curl my hair, beauty routines, New York City, fashion, the whole shebang. But yeah, I'm off to my photo shoot. Love you guys and I'll see you back in my next video.